Hey guys, it's Darlene and welcome to my channel. All right, so today we are gonna talk about a sun-kissed glow. We're gonna talk about how I get a sun-kissed glow on my face as well as the products that I use to do a self-tan and get a nice glow. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump in. <laughs> subscribe to my channel I just want to say thank you so very much if you are not yet subscribed be sure to hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell and that way you won't miss out on any videos all right let's jump in so I did my face today and this is the sun kiss glow I'm talking about I want to glow from within so from the first product that I put on to the last product I put on I want to layer so that it looks like it's glow my skin is my actual skin is glowing head and we're gonna start with my face first and I'm actually going to do that with you and then I'll show you some video of doing the uh, tanning of the body so let's go ahead and start with the fact that I have done my skincare routine if you have not seen that I will list that video here and so the next thing that I'm going to do is because it is summertime I use the natural uh, Jergens natural glow uh, face tanner have this in face and body and so I'm gonna put that all over and on my neck as well even though I bring the body one to the neck I'm gonna bring this as well. So we're gonna do. And then the next step that I'm going to do, I have shown you Figs and Rouge before as a highlighter. This can be a little bit difficult to find um, in this country, um, but I will list a few others. This is These are pearlescent glow drops, if you will. And I've shown them how I use them as a highlighter, but in the summer, let me show you how I use them. So it's in a dropper format, and you can either mix it with your foundation or just take a drop or two on your fingertips and then rub them all over your face. And it's gonna give it this beautiful glow from within when you go to put your makeup on. Because you can already see if I smile, how it'll light up just from hitting the lights. Next, we're gonna choose a primer. Now, y'all know my one-two punch for primer is the Tarte um, Smoothing Primer and the e.l.f. Poreless Primer. These together are like, bam, bam. What I would suggest is using this, the e.l.f. for poreless, and then they also have an e.l.f. for hydrating. So we're gonna put the hydrating one on first. This is, the, the unfortunate thing is the hydrating doesn't cover the pores like the poreless one does. So we're gonna put this one on to give a nice hydration to the skin because that's part of, and then I'm gonna go ahead and put the poreless on. Um, and that's part of the whole um, give it, getting a sun-kissed glow skin is to really have a nice base. Now foundation-wise, you wanna choose a foundation that is not heavy or thick and so a matte foundation is really not what's going to give you that, that beautiful light fresh uh, glow so I'm here here are a few of my favorites we love of course I love the Estee Lauder Futurist um, I also love the Estee Lauder nude water fresh this is very light I love that as well the other one that I like is I'm just not dark enough for it right now is the it cosmetics um, it CC cream illuminating this will give a nice glow so what I'm going to do is I'm gonna mix a little of the futurist and this is 3w1 um, so I'm just putting a little drop on my uh, back of my hand oh, the one thing about this one is I don't have a thing and then this one is in the color 2n1 and dot 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 y'all have seen me put my makeup on and then my favorite beauty tool of all time, which is the Tati Blend of I mean, I mean, you see how fast I'm, it's like, bam. I love this thing. And they are out of stock right now. I'm so glad I picked up like three of them. A nice, fresh, you can see, it looks really 
fresh and glowy I am going to go ahead and y'all have seen if you haven't seen me put my makeup on you can choose any video and I put it on the same way I'm going to do contour off camera and then I will show you uh, how I do the bronzer and blush and highlighter to um, really get the glow and I'm just going to do the concealer and my under eye okay so I've got my um, contour on the, and the I finished the bottom of my eyes so uh, the next thing we're gonna do is talk about bronzing because that's obviously gonna give us that nice, especially if you're as pale as I am. Um, I have two bronzers, one of them more high end and one more low end, and these are my two favorite. So um, I love the Estee Lauder Bronze Goddess, and this is in 01, I think it is, yes. And then the Milani, which is in 03. Um, these are my two favorite. I'll go ahead and I'll use the Milani today. So. Um, the reason I use the contour stick is because I don't have cheekbones and I do not have a defined chin. So that helps um, define my cheekbones and give me a more defined. Um, so I'm just going to use an angled brush and then I just start at the top and do circular motions and set kind of a big C. And then underneath the chin, go down the neck a little to give it that uh, nice little glow and then um, I kind of hit the little middle. I try and leave this area alone. The nose, we're, we're hitting where the sun would hit, right? We are, you know, the sun kisses us on our nose and, um, and that's it. Now, I need to at this point blend out my eyeshadow. You guys know that I do this after. Talk about blush. You want to choose a blush in my opinion, you have two choices here. One, you could go with the blush that is more on the browns uh, to bring out more of a tan, but this video is sun-kissed glow. So I'm actually gonna use the NARS Orgasm. I think this is a beautiful blush because it has a hint of shimmer to it, not too much. Again, I'm over 50, uh, 53. Um, so what I wanna do is just hit those apples of my cheeks and just pounce along there uh, not too much but it'll just give that little flush of color and um, as if you know you've sort of gotten kissed by the sun now highlight wise we could easily go back to the figs and rouge i know this is hard to find so what i'm going to do is i love and you all know this i absolutely love the Clinique chubby stick. So I'm gonna go ahead and use that one. My trick with this, and it works like a dream, is take some, uh, whatever your setting spray is that you love. I, my particular favorite, and the one I use is the Urban Decay All Nighter. Give a little spritz, and then immediately take your little chubby stick, hit the apples of your cheeks, see that? I usually put a little on the top of my nose as well, and you can see. Then take a little beauty blender, or in my case, I'm gonna take the little Tati um, mini blendiful and just blend it out. You can also just take your finger and tap it in. Because your skin is a little bit damp, it blends it beautifully. And then just, you can see, gives it that gorgeous glow. I'm gonna go ahead and um, put my lipstick on and then I will be right back. Okay guys, so the last thing I'm gonna do is just take the It Bye Bye Pores Illuminating Powder to set my makeup. This will also help if I've gotten a little kind of crazy with the, um, uh, the uh, highlighter that it'll help here. So I'm just gonna push this in here on my pores and it's a beautiful powder. It kind of just settles everything down and there we have it. So the other thing that I did was choose a lip gloss that is very glowy and fresh and uh, not heavy. And what I chose was the, um, and it's also plumping, is the City Beauty City Lips. And this is in uh, Nude York, Nude York. Um, and it's this beautiful, uh, shimmery, but very natural, um, color uh it looks a lot browner than it is let me just you can see see it looks a lot browner in here uh the lip uh pencil that i used is in the color it's estee lauder's in the color spice we've done the face and we have a very nice 
glowy sun-kissed look let's talk about how I do my body so the first thing you want to do is choose a body scrub I happen to use the Jose Maran um, uh, Argon super bomb body scrub and you want to do that before and you want to do it the night before because this does have argon oil in it which is great it'll soak into the skin but you want to basically exfoliate and then I also use a dry brush I have shown my dry brush before and you just do a nice little dry brush and it gets the skin really ready for a perfectly even tan um, now, if I am going on vacation, perfectly honest, I will get a spray tan first and then I'll just do it once and then I will keep my uh, tan going with the uh, Josie Marin Argon, uh, Josie Marin Self Tanner. I love this. I have loved this for years. I have tried several. I think it's the best. There's a lot of reasons why I'm gonna show you um, how I go about um, applying it. It does come with a mist. And in here you pour the oil on and you just go about rubbing. The beautiful thing, and I will show you the pictures of my doing my arms and legs, um, and I will show you before and after. I did a close up of my arms before and after one application. It works beautifully. And of course you can do multiple applications to get darker. Um, I love it because it comes out dark. It comes out in a liquid form it has never you know made me orange or any other weird strange color it just gives a beautiful natural glowy tan and it also makes your skin look super hydrated because of the argon oil so I love that um, I've been a big proponent of it um, so I use that all summer long and then to maintain there's two products that I use I use to maintain the tan there is actually a Josie Maran whipped argon oil body butter it's so very similar to my body butter like this in the jars that I'm obsessed with and I use this all the time they have a body buddy body butter tan um, extender so you just rub it on and it will help extend the life of your tan um, so it'll help extend the life of your tan which is awesome and again argon oil gonna give you that very glowy look the other thing that I use is the Jergens natural glow um, this is a firming um, moisturizer and you can get it in a light to medium and medium to tan um, this is the medium to tan so again comes out white and then we just rub it in and this so I love this because it helps extend the tan and it also has firming ingredients in it so I make sure that I absolutely put it on my arms and my thighs to keep them nice and firm. Hey guys all right so I had to jump in here because sometimes I forget to do things um, and of course today is Monday so that means there is a giveaway there's two giveaways same thing two different um subscribers will win so there'll be two winners um and what it is is a 50 dollars gift card to target so there'll be two winners each will receive a 50 dollars gift card to target i don't have the actual gift cards because i'm going to email them to you uh just the easiest way to do it so make sure you enter this is in celebration of us reaching 10,000 subscribers and once again i couldn't be more um, humbled and happy and excited um, I love the fact we're on this journey together so just click the link in the description box as always super simple to um, enter that's it guys that's how I get a sun-kissed glow with regards to my makeup as well as my body I hope you enjoyed the video if you did be sure to give it a thumbs up and as always thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time bye guys